So hello guys, welcome to this video. Uh, in our previous video, we have already uh, seen the model uh, Onyx model zoo. Now I will be showing you a demo. Okay, uh, actually I'm gonna download this uh, MNIST handwritten uh, data, uh, you can say model uh, from this Onyx model zoo. Uh, then I will be doing the inferencing uh, on top of my Onyx runtime. Okay, so that like you can get the idea like uh, if you have already existing models, so how you can utilize that. So let's uh, get it started. So yes, guys, I'm in my VS code. Uh, now, what do you need to do? First of all, you need to create an environment here. Okay, I know how to create this Aragonta virtual environment. I think you know. Then after creating the environment, you have to install these packages. Okay, like your Onyx runtime. And uh, here, uh, I'm working with the image. So that's why I need the OpenCV and this Onyx. Okay, actual Onyx and your NumPy. So if you just write pip install uh, hyphen r requirement.txt, and if you hit enter, so it will be installed uh, in your environment. And for me, I have already installed this environment. Uh, so for me, I have already installed this package in my environment. Okay. So my requirement uh, would be satisfied. So guys, yeah, you can see uh, already by requirement already satisfied. So that's why, uh, uh, so it didn't take more time, but for you, it might take some time. And after that, what you need to do, uh, so there is a file called download model SSH. Okay, so if you go, go to that folder, uh, so here, what you can do here directly, you can download from here. Okay, directly, you can uh, download from here also. So let me show you. So if you click here, okay, you can download from here also. Um, so see, there is a model, okay. So you have size also, so you can like, uh, so you can select any kinds of size and you can download that model. And otherwise, like there is a link, okay, you can directly use that. So if you are using bash terminal, so if you just run that, uh, you can say uh, file, like you have to just uh, uh, write SSH, then your, so if you just write SSH, then your download, SSH model, okay. So if you just write it and hit enter, so it will automatically read that file and it will automatically uh, download that by using this wgate, you can say manager, uh, then uh, you can directly use that. So for me, I have already downloaded. So you can see th this is my uh, mnist.tar.gz. Okay, this is my model. And after I'm turning that, okay, so you can see inside my mnist. So this is my model.onyx. Okay, this is my uh, mnist handwritten data set, like you can uh, mnist handwritten uh, model, okay, dot uh, onyx format. And otherwise, like you can, um, just copy the link and uh, if you go to your google and if you search it so it is like available inside your you can say this uh, cntk.ai so they are providing uh, you can say this kinds of model okay so you can directly download that by using the link so see uh, whenever i uh, you can say hit the link so uh, it has been downloaded okay so see this is my model and uh, yeah, I've already, you can say, uh, uh, opened it my project directory and I've already entered it. Okay, uh, so, uh, so if you have uh, seven zip, okay, in your uh, machine, so you can like easily enter that and you can e easily use that. So yes, uh, I have my model. Okay, sorry. Hmm. Uh, now what I, what, I, what I need to do, so <clears throat> now you just need to write up, you can see inference uh, script for that. So here I've already written the inference script. So here, see here, I'm importing some of the necessary libraries, uh, including my Onyx runtime. And uh, after that, what I'm doing, I'm, you can say loading my, uh, this Onyx model, okay. And uh, inside my, uh, you can say memory, then I'm uh, reading my images, then I'm reading my images and doing some pre-processing. Like uh, you can say, if I show you my, yeah, this is my image. So here, what I'm doing here, I'm just resizing the image, then I'm converting to grayscale. Okay, then I'm also, um, you can say make it to just, you can say a one channel because it is like, you can say black, white image. Okay, it is not a color image. So that's why you have to do some pre-processing steps. So I think you are already familiar with that. And after that, what I'm doing, I'm just, you can say, uh, dumping that image, okay, like uh, image array uh, to a JSON format. Like it is like you can say recommended uh, if you want to, you can say work with the Onyx uh, runtime, okay, so in uh, Vision. So th this is recommended that after uh, after that, I'm you can see starting my session and I'm also defining my data type and uh, see after starting the session, I'm running that, okay, I'm giving my output name and my input data. And after that, I'm doing, you can say this argmax operation. I think you know what is argmax. Uh, then it will give me the maximum value of that. Then I'm, you can say painting the prediction. So if I run that code, okay, so let me run that. So Python, 
uh, inference dot pi. So C, uh, it should run. Uh, so I got an error. Okay, guys, actually I have done a mistake because here I, I didn't give any images. Okay, so see here I have images, but I, I didn't pass. Okay, uh, because here I'm taking the images as an argument, as an argument. So what I can do uh, first, uh, I so what I can do, I will pass uh, this three dot PNG. And if I run that, so it should give me three. See, uh, predicted as three. Okay, so this model is like quite good okay because it is already pretend model and uh, yeah the accuracy is also good that's why you are getting the correct result now let me give you this uh, 7 dot png now let me give this 7 dot png so now if i hit enter uh, so see it has predicted as seven okay so that's how like you can uh, do the inferencing uh, by using your onyx model okay on the onyx runtime and here you, you if you see i'm using the onyx runtime okay it is running on onyx runtime and it is like quite fast okay uh, the prediction time is quite fast uh, so that's how like you can uh, do the prediction uh, if you don't want to convert okay you can directly use this uh you can say model zoo model and you can download that and you can you can say start uh, inferencing okay uh, so yes uh, this was like uh, all about and in our next video uh, i'll be showing you a real demo okay actually i'm going to convert a pytorch model to tensorflow uh, so that like you can get more intuitive idea and uh, and uh, and after that you can uh, do any kinds of model conversion okay and uh, yes uh, that would be our last video in that series so yes guys uh, this was all about it uh, so thank you so much and i will see you next time